Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on Quantum Noodles and in this video is going to be my first ever on the channel story time so I'm going to start the series now and it's going to be like once every week but I'm going to start a story time or podcast series which I will be doing every single once a week so right so this is my first one and in my first one I thought it was pretty fitting to make a video on how I discovered Roblox or how I started or sort of came back to Roblox because obviously I guess some people have been doing this now so I might as well do my own so I want to start off well it pretty much all started in 2015 when I first discovered Roblox through an ad on you won't believe it a newspaper right so I discovered through an ad on a newspaper and I was pretty interested right it didn't really say a lot about it it was sort of like a short description on the newspaper but it was a cool ad about Roblox right so I didn't really care too much I thought I'd just try it out I was bored you know um, so I just thought I'd just try out Roblox right so I went to the sign up page I went on the website right and it seemed like really complicated for me because I, was, I wasn't really young back then but I was pretty young right so you know, I just thought I'd leave it, and I just pretty much never came back to it, right? And then all the way, if we skip five years, um, all the way to 2020, right? Um, I finally thought of coming back to the platform. So, right, so the COVID um, pandemic lockdown started, right? And I was really bored inside. I pretty much only had an Xbox and a TV, right? I was just completely... I was I was fine with my games and everything. I had, I was really into Minecraft and Fortnite at the time, so I was well okay with those. But I was really bored, right? I'm talking like really bored. So one day I decided to think I'm going to change this. So I had a little money left over, and I thought of buying a PC and a monitor. And that was this was pretty much actually my first ever like proper gaming PC. Before then, I pretty much just dealt with laptops or etc so this is my first ever PC right so once I got this PC I got the monitor to go with it and everything like that and it was pretty cool because it was really fast and it was really you know reliable and etc so yeah it was a custom built PC so I built it myself um, so I really liked it right so the first game obviously I decided to get with Minecraft it, I was just pretty much obsessed with it I, I kind of slam not really though um, but yeah, I still do like it, but I was really obsessed during 2020. Um, but the second game, well, platform, I decided to get, was actually Roblox. Because I thought back to 2015 and thought, hey, now I'm a little bit older, and now I know how to work things more. Why not start up to see what Roblox is like? So, I decided to watch some videos on it first, you know, um, the first ever YouTube I watched was actually Flamingo, so shout out to him, I guess. Um, but yeah, so it seemed really enjoyable. All the games he was playing were pretty funny and etc. So I decided to give it a try. So I signed up for Roblox, right, using my email. Um, sorry, my email. Using my um, username, which is currently Snapper Creeper76. It was my first ever one I chose. And yeah, so I signed up, and it was just amazing. Right, the first game I actually ever played was Adopt Me. So, yeah, despite me not really liking it now, it was actually the first game I ever played. So, that was the game, because it was the most popular, um, I decided to go around in that game for ages, actually months, just figuring out what to do. Bear in mind, this was like May of 2020, right? So, I got a bit bored of Adopt Me around about June or July, so I decided to move on from that right so I had to move on to other games um the next game I tried was Arsenal and um, I started to try Phantom Forces and some other survival FPS type games um they just really cured my boredom and this was sort of the point where I developed a addiction for Roblox it was like I was on it hours per day right um of course apart from like schoolwork or you know, etc. I was pretty much on it almost all the time. And um, whenever I got a break, I was just on Roblox. Um, so, 
Once I had played a lot of games and things, I decided to buy my first batch of Robux. So I bought the I bought 400 Robux to start with, um, and then I discovered the custom avatar feature. So you could customize your avatar. That was amazing to me. There was so many things that you could do with your avatar. It was just unbelievable. So I bought some stuff. I bought some cartoony rainbow stuff because that was in trend at the time. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Then I realized it kind of didn't, so, you know, I quit that quickly. But, um, <clears throat> decided to, you know, make my avatar reflect my personality, sort of. Um, once I'd done customizing my avatar, um, I started to look down on the drop side menu, right? You know, the menu with, like, avatar, groups, etc. And I looked on one specific thing, and that was groups. So, as you know, in Roblox, you can meet your own groups and things. And I thought that was pretty interesting, right? Because I didn't know what groups would be. I thought it was just going to be, like, chat groups and things. So, <clears throat> I clicked on the groups feature. And then I discovered what groups were. And I started to join some groups. I thought, hey, these are really cool. You know, like, all these gaming groups and these clothing groups and cafe groups. And they were doing really successful... I, you know, you can have your own ranks and things, I thought it was really cool. So, I decided to create my own group, right, and that's currently Roblox News Discussion. Um, it wasn't getting a lot of members, um, it still isn't, you know, but I decided to create my own group because I thought that's, that's cool, right? So, once I created my own group and customized my avatar and done all this, I thought, I've, is that it? I've completed Roblox, but... After that, I'd actually stumbled across a video from a YouTuber known as Shesu, right? And he was doing a tutorial on Roblox Studio. So at first I thought it was actually a game, like, because I was so stupid at the time about Roblox. Um, I actually thought this was a game, like a legitimate game. Until I discovered it was an entire program on how to make games, right? And previously, I was actually making games, because I'd made games on other platforms before, right? I was making games before. So I thought that um, all the games, because um, pretty much before this time, I only thought that all the games on Roblox are created by Roblox staff. Um, so people who work at Roblox. But then I discovered that anyone can create a game. So I quickly tried to find where this Roblox studio was. And eventually I did find it by just clicking off of my browser, right? So I clicked on Roblox Studio, and it brought me to all these templates, you know, all the default templates, right? And, dude, dude, literally, it. once I spawned that base play, and I found, discovered free models, and parts, and all that, it was insane. So, that was my next addiction, <laughs> you know, Roblox Studio, and making games. So, as of August of 2020... I'd made my first ever, published my first ever, real game. It was really trashy. It was full of free models. In fact, it's actually like, I've basically got rid of it now, because it had loads of viruses in it. But, um, <clears throat> I didn't know you could get viruses in a game at the time, right? But, it was a zombie survival game. Of course, it was just free models, so you can imagine what it probably looked like, right? But, uh, basically, you just had, it was those zombies, those free model zombies on the island. I just had to run away from them. I put some guns in the game so you could shoot them. Um, but in my opinion, because I just published my first ever game on Roblox, I thought, like, I was so, so pleased with myself at the time. Right, I was so proud. Um, now I look back and think, wow, well, dude, that game's absolutely disgusting, it's trash. But at the time, it was an honor, almost, to make that game, right? Um, so now we move on later to September, right? Um, during this time, things were starting to go back to normal, um, in terms of, like, the, um, virus lockdown and everything. Things are starting to go back to normal. So, I was starting to have less time on Roblox. And, um, that's the point where I started to play it less, uh, make games less, and I started to push away from it a little bit. Um, so I started to even just go back to Minecraft almost. Um, but then I realized something, right? Um, making games, you can actually make money off it. So, 
I watch more Shesu videos, like I mentioned before, right? Um, and once I watch more of these Shesu videos, I realized that people are actually making money, and even real life money, off of Roblox games. Um, I discovered uh, games like Bloxburg and Jailbreak, which are making millions, millions of US dollars of Roblox games, right? So I thought to myself, I'm never going to make millions of a Roblox game, but if I can at least earn Robux off a Roblox game, that'd be pretty insane, right? So, I began to get back into Roblox Studio more, right, and make some more games. Um, I eventually learned how to build, I learned how to script. I even got Blender, uh, which was later uh, during that year, which was October. I started to get Blender and started to use that. Um... And I started to make more things in Roblox Studio, right? I decided to make random parts, random models. The first official model I made, actually, was a water slide. Um, it, I've still got it today, actually. It's still pretty good. But, um, yeah, that model that I made in Roblox Studio, that water slide, uh, pretty good, actually. Um, I made the, Then I moved on to like bigger things, like houses or towns, even cities. And me, began to make full-fledged games. On the platform um, I published at the time only three games three full games um, one was a really bad simulator the other one was sort of like a spider-man or Marvel type game uh, basically you were just like spider-man just have to swing around the city um, I didn't actually put in the web mechanics like the you know we could swing around those were actually in the game so it was basically just like GTA 5 without anything it was just like you just wandering around a city aimlessly um <clears throat> the other game was a survive the killer game because <clears throat> i don't know they were just getting popular at the time they were really trashy they, they still are but like i thought they were doing pretty good so i made one myself moving on to <laughs> moving on to Sorry, I just thought to mute there. My cat was meowing. Um, to later in the year, all the way now to November. So at this point, after watching all these YouTubers and realizing, so these lot are creating videos, right? So what if I do that next, right? I was hopping on all these trends of what these YouTubers are doing, and um, I basically then at that point realized, what if I can become a Roblox YouTuber, right, and start creating Roblox videos that teach other people how to do things. That's insane. So I thought of that for a second. And I realized, yeah, maybe I just might just create like home videos, like the classic gaming video, the classic Let's Play. So I created the Quantum Noodles channel, which is this channel here, right, and um, I just began to make random videos, right. Uh, for example, my first video on the channel was a Bloxburg video I made with a guy called HF Industries. Um, it's supposed to be Industries, but you forgot to add the S. Um, his real name is Harry. Sorry for leaking that, by the way. But um, basically, we just used to play Bloxburg a lot. We're not really friends anymore, just because like we've moved on. But we were friends for quite a long time. We used to play Bloxburg a lot. And... Um, yeah, so we just used to make videos, and that video that I uploaded, so I uploaded in November, right? But that video was actually like two months old. Um, so I just made that in Bloxburg ages ago, and then published it to YouTube. And then at that point, I was like, after my third video, so I made um, that video, and then two other videos, then I thought, this actually might become my thing. Right, the thing I will be doing every time I get home from school or every time I get home from college, this will be the thing I'm doing. Um, and I genuinely thought that at the time, and I'm still thinking it now, right? Um, because I, at the time, I only had two subscribers, and um, I was so proud of myself. Right, I just at that moment, once I made that video, and once I looked at my subscriber count, I just sat back and thought. I've made games on Roblox, right? Um, you know, I've made a group. I've started to make videos, and this was—it's only been like a couple of months. Um, and at this point, I was really starting to get 
into Roblox. I'm really into Roblox. So later in that month was the Lil Nas X concert, right? And I watched a lot of hype videos on it, like um, people hyping up the concert on YouTube. Um, so at that point, I thought, hmm, what's this? You know, like really getting intrigued with it. So I, I'm, you know, at that point, I'm pretty familiar with Lil Nas X and his music and stuff. So I decided to get into the concert. So of course, when the concert happened. Um, I was also taking part in another event, which was the um, junk bot raid with Flamingo, right? So that pretty much almost broke the concert, like it, <laughs> you know, with uh, Roblox having to teleport like millions of people to one place at once, and Flamingo ordering um, a raid of like 400,000 people. It was really tiring for the Roblox platform, and. Um, you know, obviously, there was a lot of lag in the concert and everything, but it was a pretty good concert, like, it was really enjoyable, it was really good, I enjoyed it quite a lot, um, for me, it wasn't broken, like, there was no, Lil Nas X was, like, working perfectly fine and everything, um, so yeah, it was really enjoyable, and then I realised how good Roblox can be, you know, with its mechanics and, um, with its developers and things, it can genuinely be a really good platform. So, moving all the way to 2021 now, this is the point where Roblox is developing, um, sort of became my hobby. So, in about February of 2021, I decided to make Roblox developing a full-time hobby. So not a job yet, but a hobby, right? And I decided to every single day, when I got back from college, I decided to make, or when I'd done my college work, right, I decided to make Roblox games, or work on my Roblox games, and um it was just it was just amazing right how you could make so many things in roblox and publish them and people are actually gonna like it people are gonna play your games people are gonna um you know experience the work or appreciate the work that you've done so i decided to make more roblox games and that's pretty much the day where i'd made my most successful game of all time which was snappy's low poly hobby um which is my hobby game in my group um so yeah and that's pretty much the point where i decided to try and make now my job so of course i'm at this point far far away from any sort of job in roblox right because i wasn't making loads of robux i was starting to make robux on my game but um you know i wasn't earning like loads of robux i wasn't earning thousands or anything but i was earning robux so i decided to work on games more because earning the robux motivated me to make these games and update these games so i decided to make another game which was like a tower of hell game and um this game was really good so um it had a lot of jumps and things it had huge tower um of course but this was the game which I thought was going to be the most successful. So this was the one I was making round about Easter of 2021, right? Um, this was that game I was working on round about then. Uh, it went wrong so many times, and this was the game, which, first game, which I actually had to start all over again with. I had to start from the very beginning, because a virus got into the game, and I had to just completely just, like, reimagine the game totally just recreate again which was absolute just horrendous for me because having to start a game all over again but i did it i did manage it and then it's good and it's up and running today um but i'm gonna skip now all the way to the end of 2021 well november right so during november right this is the time where my channel was starting to build up. This was the time where I got everything together, pretty much. And I was just planning ahead. Um, and I was already thinking about New Year. I was already thinking about 2022. Um, and thinking what my channel was going to be then. So, at this point, I had made loads of Roblox games. I'd earned lots of money off it. I'd earned tons of Roblox. Some Roblox, uh, Robux of these games, right? And... Um, I was even starting to give away Robux to other people um, at this point. So, 
basically, right, um, at this point I was starting to work on YouTube more, rather than Roblox, and I'm starting to look at my YouTube channel and think, yeah, this is dying, right, my YouTube channel was literally dying at that point, um, so I was thinking, right, I need to get work on this, so ever since, well, pretty much from the beginning of November to the end of December, YouTube was my top priority, right, um, and it currently still is, but it's, it was my top priority, like, my top top priority, so I stopped making Roblox games, stopped updating them, and just worked on YouTube, just YouTube, right, um, I was trying to make videos, they kept going wrong, so I kept making them over and over again, and stress really got to me at that point, it was actually the first time, pretty much, in ages, where I'd actually experienced genuine stress, genuine, genuine stress, right, jobs were burning me out, I was getting bored of YouTube, like, at that point, I was, it was boring me, sort of, like, it just wasn't interesting, because I was getting no views, and everything like that, it was just horrible, so, what I tried to do, then, if we're gonna skip all the way now, to the end of December, so I had to, you know, think, you know what, from now on, I'm gonna make commentary content, so, from that point on, I started to write up plans, I decided to get my notebook out and write down every single idea I had possible and just let my ideas spew out all over the new notebook and decided to fully dedicate myself to commentary content on my channel. So then, New Year strikes, right? And my first video, pretty much, for New Year, or one of my first ones at least anyway, was the situation oh man. Or Roblox got banned, right? And I made that literally so early in the morning. I was so tired. Um, but I decided to get up early and make a YouTube video because I thought this is going to be the day. And, and then I thought, you know what? No one's going to watch this video. Loads of YouTubers have already made a video on it. At this point, no one's going to watch it, right? So for the day, once I'd done most of my college work, college work and everything, right? I decided to check back up on this YouTube video, and I'm not even joking, my fi my jaw literally dropped, the video got thousands of views by the time I checked it, well, 1000 views by the time I checked it, and now, for my channel, that's like, outstanding, obviously that's, that's unbelievable, um, now, then I realized, it's still not my most popular video though, because my most popular video is the Teams video I made, um, all the way back in 2021, like, the beginning of 2021, um, and that got 3k views, right, and, like, that was insane, because at the time, my channel was even more dead than it already is, so, at that point, it was like, hey, my channel's actually going somewhere, so then, I decided to make more commentary videos, and currently still am, and I'm getting views, and at this point, we bring ourselves all the way to... At the time I'm making this video, it was the 13th of February, 2022, and I realized I'm actually getting somewhere, and it's all because I got that PC all the way back in 2020, and I was incredibly bored, right? If it wasn't for me watching Flamingo videos, if it wasn't for me watching Shacey videos, if I had given up at one point along the way, which, trust me, the amount of times I felt like giving up, you would honestly, like, you would lose count, right, if I'd given up, if i just forgot about it, none of this would be here, and trust me, I'm still building it up, right, my channel's got literally, like, 40 subs, right, my group's got, like, 46 members, I'm still building this thing up, although on Instagram, I'm doing pretty well, on Instagram, I've got 602, as of this recording, followers, uh, actually a little bit more, I think, so, yeah, I'm posting memes over there. So, I think at this point, because I've got it all together, and because I know what I'm doing, this is where it's going, right? The reason I wanted to, I know this video is really long, and I know I'm stuttering and stuff, but the reason I wanted to make this video, and the reason I'm going to continue to make these story times, is because of one reason, and that's because I think sharing your experiences helps you get through them, right? With me sharing this video now, and telling you pretty much like 
how much I've truly gone through. I just realize how much work I've actually done, right? In your, like, what you see is, like, just the surface. It's not even the surface. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how much I've done. I'm actually probably going to show you a video one day of the, literally the notes I'm writing down. Because, like, and some of the stuff I've worked on and things. Because the amount of work I've done in order to build up this channel is unbelievable. So, I'd like to thank you all as well for helping us along this journey. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be sitting here right now making this video. Um, and in 10 years time, I, you know, if it wasn't if it for you guys, I might not be anywhere. Right? Thank you for the people who even just watch the videos. Thank you for, definitely for the people who like them. And thank you definitely, definitely for the people, you know, who subscribed. You people are amazing, right? Everyone who's contributed, everyone who's played my games, everyone who's bought my shirts on Roblox, anyone who's literally wrote a comment in the comment section, right? If you write a comment in the comment section, you're a legend in my eyes, right? If you subscribe, you're an absolute legend. Um, if you like the video, you're an absolute legend. If you watch the video, you're an absolute legend, right? Because you're contributing to something that I'm genuinely passionate about. And in my eyes, and many other people's eyes too, that is the best thing you can possibly give, right? So, thank you to all the people who have contributed to this channel, right? And who will continue to contribute in the future. So, ending off this story time, until next week, not only with a bang, but with a thank you. That was a really cheesy, horrible motivational speech. Um, you know what? Um, yeah, but thank you to all, though, genuinely. Um for subscribing, for liking the videos, thank you, and I hope that the channel will continue to grow in the future, and, um, I wanted to say I'll grow with it, but that doesn't really make sense, because, like, I'm almost stopping growing, anyway, you know, I'm not even going to talk anymore, it's been 27 minutes, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye, hope you have a wonderful day.